新闻一开始带你来关心，中共抢摘器官日渐引起了国际的关注。澳大利亚牛省议员大卫舒布瑞杰日前就提出了器官移植动议，之后以行动防止澳洲民众成为帮凶。那么，加拿大前国会议员大卫乔高随后也是访问了澳洲的各大城市，更让移植器官的来源是否合法成为大家关注的话题。在三月十六号的时候，雪梨华人区举行了制止活摘器官的集会活。活动，许多民众纷纷签名支持动议案。据澳洲卫生部统计，每年约有两万肾病患者在做血液透析，等待器官移植。由于供体紧缺，很多病人前往东南亚完成手术，但供体的合法性却越来越受到人们的质疑。Many、uh, viewers may may know of the forced organ harvesting that's happening、um, in China, whereby people can obtain an organ in just a couple of weeks, whereas anywhere else in the world. It takes, you know, six months, a year, or more to be matched up with an organ if you if you、uh, need an organ transplant. A lot of Australians have gone to、uh, China to receive organ transplants. It's cheaper, it's fast, but we have to stop this practice, stop them doing it, because they are very likely getting organs from Falun Gong practitioners or other innocent people who are being killed. Zhang 女士的母亲因信仰法轮功被关押，在集会上，她对母亲的安危表示担忧。因为我母亲现在还仍然关在非法关押在呃劳教所里边，那么她很可能也会面临活摘器官，所以这个是我们非常担心的。澳洲牛省的器官移植动议案还在热烈讨论中。作为一个民主国家，这项动议案能否顺利通过，最终还将取决于澳大利亚的民意倾向。新唐人记者严严、李子培，澳大利亚悉尼报道。